Hey, there you are. Come on in. So, this is my new pad. Um, I wanted to keep it simple, light, and also very sleek and clean. You are now listening to. And minimalistic. All those different words. Let me just add all these little words at, at you. So this right here is a little art piece that I did, um, which this is faux leather. So it's like an old vinyl piece that I had, and it's like gray, and I had like this big empty frame, and I was like, let me fill it in there and add like this minimalistic art piece that you know looks super sleek and simple, and you're kind of like, how is this art? But it still works. So then I also wanted to like add some terrain into the space because obviously, you know, I went for like a really dark, muted atmosphere. And so I wanted to kind of create that vibe where it had like this terrain wall. And this was something that only cost 30 bucks to do. I got it from Amazon, something super simple, super effective, and kind of makes your dark apartment or even an apartment that does not necessarily have like the most light or doesn't have enough window space to create plants. This makes your apartment, even though they're artificial, gives your apartment a very like lively vibe. So that's like a huge addition I loved. This right here is my island. I got this from Facebook Marketplace for about 50 bucks. I bought it and then I added these tiles on top of it to give it like a full finish and to also match the countertops and the overall built-in interior that the apartment naturally has. So over here, I always wanted an apartment that had exposed cabinets and that's what exactly what I got with this apartment. But it's kind of a blessing and a curse because you always have to keep this nice and clean and, and <laughs> tidy, which is not always the easiest thing to do when you're like on the go. But I wanted to kind of create like a little bit of a display and I got these little jars, which are also sort of Ikea, but I got them from the thrift store for a dollar a jar. Um, and I filled them up with some foods that are not highly perishable. So like some caramel corn, some pretzels, and like some oatmeal cookies. And you know, this still keeps those warm tones of the apartment, but also adds like a, a flavor to it. Like it gives you a lived in vibe. Then I also got like this little tea stand from Ikea, which was about five bucks. And I just did like my gray plates there. This is like my mini little bar, stuff I got from my housewarming party. So come follow me into the living room. So it's all collectively a part of each other. Um, I also added this divider just to divide the space. So this space needed to have some division uh, because obviously the kitchen and living room is all, they're all in one spot. So I wanted to divide the space and then keeping true to, you know, the original aesthetic of having the green terrain artificial on that wall, I added it into this divider piece to kind of add a little bit more to it to kind of bring the place together cohesively. And this was about 20 bucks as well on Amazon. So, you know, now we're at 50, um, we're at, you know, five, six, seven bucks, and then 20 bucks. So we're already under 100 bucks, and I'm almost halfway through with the apartment. So keep coming in over here. The truth to create an apartment on a budget and to keep it cheek and all those different things is to just go after old used furniture that family members may have or friends may have or even the thrift store may have that's super cheap or affordable. And that's what I did. I had a family friend that had these old couches available and I took them, I cleaned them up. Um, I also, you know, darkened the wood as well. I painted the wood. So I wanted to make it a little bit more dark and rustic. And I don't mind that it has a little bit of a worn feel to it because it adds character to the furniture. So. That's kind of like something that was super simple, super inexpensive to do because it was free. I just had to paint it and move it here, which is about 40 bucks. This right here is a nice little zen garden that, you know, I added some candles to it, added some stones, and then kind of added it to that whole like zen slash rustic look I was going for for the apartment. Um, decided to also add the TV in here and I put it on the wall because obviously the apartment is a smaller apartment. I didn't want to take up the space with like an entertainment center. And so it just kind of works all effectively together. And then this is like a functional art piece. You can work with it, but you can also, you know, have the candles going. Over here, I put like my little at home office. So this is actually a housewarming gift this desk was, um, but I did look it up online. It was a $70 desktop um, from Walmart. So that's something super inexpensive. 
These art pieces right here were from my mom's garage. And sure enough, I don't know how, but it actually matches the whole vibe of the apartment with the palm leaves and the terrain and the rustic metal and the burnt like this was like perfect. So I cleaned them up a little bit because they've been sitting in her garage for maybe like five, six years and brought them into my apartment. I kept everything dark as far as the curtains. And then I also elongated where the curtain line starts to make the walls and the ceilings look higher and feel higher because the natural window line is actually right here. And so I wanted to elongate the walls, to also make the apartment look bigger and feel bigger. This is my apartment and this is how I did it under $300. Um, if you guys like the video, be sure to check it out. Look down below for the details on how you can get all these different items in the apartment that keep it super simple and effective um, when you are shopping. Uh, because the truth of the matter is, most of us are not buying our forever apartment or our forever home right now. We are gonna live in a place for maybe a year, two years, you know, three, four years at the max. And so you don't wanna invest in a space heavily where it's hard to leave everything or to move everything. And so with a situation like this, it's very simple and easy for me to leave this furniture and throw it away because I didn't invest a lot into it. And so I'm gonna give you guys my effective guide. Um, check out the video.